We're gonna get into this uh, Jet Boats of Texas 1654 with a 40 Mercury jet. Um, this boat here, uh, Jet Boats of Texas reach out to me. They have uh, only built inboard jets and um, I'll tag a link to their Facebook and website. You can see some of the inboards they've been building. Uh, this is our first outboard jet. They reach out to me to just kind of give it a drive. They're out in Iran, Texas. There ain't no water out there. Test nothing hardly. So I've had this for a couple weeks. Been to the Sabine, Brazos, going to the Colorado this weekend, Red River, and well, that's it. <laughs> going to watch it all next weekend, but uh, Sean will have the boat back by then. Anyway, check out some of the stuff they're building. We're going to talk about this boat. And uh, this is just my opinion on their boat. So let's get into it. I'm just going to start with my favorite thing. I know I already said 1654 with a 40 Merc. And here's what we're going to look at. Look at this quarter inch bottom guy. Um, <laughs> it's pretty cool. I've bashed some trees and ran some stuff over on the Sabine. Maybe I'll add a clip or two in here. I didn't really take great video of that. But uh, the bottom is quarter inch. Transom is 3 16 and the side is 125. Uh, speed. I bumped 36 on the Brazos, headed down a good little ripple. And uh, the other day at the Red River, I mean, I, we were, a, it was a smidget faster than the other 6040s, minus a few. Uh, but I had a part, I had to get my partner sitting up front, stuff like that. And I did have four guys in it once and we hit 30 miles an hour. But onto the boat, uh, you know, this is a little different than what a lot of us are used to seeing. And Sean and those guys just built to Texas. I mean, this is just kind of what they build in their inboards, and they just kind of transition it over to the the outboard world here. And they run the Rio Grande, and they do a lot of rock bouncing. Essentially, is what we'll call it. And this thing is beefed up with some channeling here to bounce off rocks, um, along with the quarter inch bottom, quarter inch keel there. And this bottom is still as straight as can be. I'm telling you guys, I have hit stuff. There's witnesses out there if you want to ask them. This here is just kind of their first boat. Production boats will be a little different with winches and headlights up here in the front. And that'll really clean that front end up big time. But uh, I'm impressed with the boat. It's, uh, well, the other thing, I joke about it. I think they use aluminum with helium in it because they got this hold of like 585 pounds. When it was bare that's no turf seats gas battery nothing like that uh, the boat still runs really good i told him i said you guys can build an outboard i'm sorry if you guys can build a boat under 600 pounds i said it'll work uh some of the havocs come in even heavier than that and they're only 100 gauge uh, the 1653 havocs almost 650 pounds uh, if we can't get up in here in the boat and get a good little overview uh when sean was first building this boat he was sending me pictures of the build and and there were several things where i'm just like ah you know i don't know i don't know i don't know and once you see the boat in person uh one of the things i was like i don't know if i like these wide gunnels you know what i mean but look at this i totally flip my stance on the wide gunnels love the wide gunnel the front end isn't like what we're used to seeing a lot of our little john boats but for a cat fisherman this is perfect um those things every weld on this boat is uh beautiful um this uh, i mean anyway custom boat you want to talk to them don't talk to me about it it's not my boat i don't sell these boats i'm not even affiliated with jet boats of texas anyway other than they let me drive it and it's been fun
decided to post this video till after the Colorado ride and you just saw uh, just a small clip of us riding this little off channel there. It was great. Made a mistake. I was looking back at them when we passed and that was our first time through there. I should have got the boat back over to the left to make that right hand turn, but which never knew it was coming. So first time through there, we made it through there several other times after that. But anyway, uh, just wanted to give my final thoughts on the boat. Sean has it back right now. Uh, we had 20 boats down there on the Colorado. You want to talk about some rough water and it's even windy on the way down. So the river had some chop in some of the straightaways and you had all the other boats. Uh, just that little, we'll call it the Delta pad mod V. I'm not sure you can correct me if you want to. It really does make it for a smoother ride in busy waters like that versus just a regular flat bottom boat. I guess the other pros to having a whole design like that is uh, with regular flat bottoms, you get in chop or a lot of waves. It, it's really more difficult to keep the motor trimmed up without cavitation. And I'm still able to pretty much run full trim and all that rough stuff. So I guess those are some of the prawns of not having a true flat bottom boat. Uh, I think I just made a word up. But anyway, y'all got what I'm saying. So... Anyway, back in the cast now. We're going to head to the Wachita River. Uh, but before that, I just want to thank uh, Jeff Boats of Texas and Sean and his guys uh, for letting me use their boat and trusting me with it and letting me taking it out and giving, giving them my input. Uh, there, it's funny, as I had it, uh, I never really made comments much about it when I first got it. Me and Sean talked a lot, but some of the things over the times that I put hours in it, I mean, I put well... Go check on that my kids and dogs over there barking at something sorry i put well over 200 miles on it um between the couple trips that i went and maybe even 300 miles i didn't really even calculate the brazos part in that but you know my thoughts actually changed the longer i ran the boat at first i was like ah, i didn't turn like what i'm used to but you know but what i'm used to does it isn't the standard you know uh, but once i drove the boat more i i really enjoyed the way it started to handle and there were other things like I mentioned earlier in the video. I'm kind of trying to think back, but all that said, uh, I just want to thank Sean, his his group of guys, for letting me run their boat. I had a blast with it. Give those guys a call in the description. Here will be some information you can maybe reach out to them guys for a quote and and, and talk to them about that. Um, so anyway, we'll see y'all on the water. One more thing I want to mention: quarter inch bottom. That's just. That's just cool what it is.